Right, I thought I'd do up, do up this today. Um, it's just one of those correspondent envelopes. Okay. Fairly intact, so that's all right. So I thought I'd um, collage on top of that, do something on here. So the first thing I'm going to do is ink up the edges. Okay, We're, I'm going to use tea stain. You can use um, vintage photo as well. It's quite good, or anything you want, really. But I'm going to um, do this first. It might change. So I'm just going to do all that. This might be a floating pocket. So it's going to, I've got a little thing there. I'm just start off with this one, I think. That's going to have to dry. Right, what we got? Got some bits left over, so I um, actually want to keep it quite light, if you know what I mean. Oh, don't want that on there. <laughs> oh, uh, do. Let's go. I'm doing a lot of collage lately again. Oh, I do love it though. It's one of my favourite pastimes, I must say. One of them. <laughs> I've got a lot. I just love anything really to do with crafting, to be honest. Okay, what have we got here? Let's put that there. That's been hanging around for a while. Okay, let that do its thing, and then I'm just going to do this bit here. Okay, all right, tidy that up once they're just dry, and then we'll do the back and everything. Put on my little pile that I'm doing, and then we'll do the other one, which that will definitely all be in bits, I think, but might as well use these up. Right, yeah. 
a little bit too big, so. Definitely using up scraps. <laughs> but we are getting there. Nearly gone, folks. Get that dry too. Our pile is getting less. Right, what I'm doing here, it's just a book page that I've mocked up with or yeah, something like that. I'm going to, because I'm thinking of um, postcard size, a journaling card that way. So I might as well just use up all these bits that I've got here. I might have enough to do two. Not sure, but that's those bits gone. Stick that down. So I'm going over the edge because I'm there's a white bit there, if you know what I mean. So And I'm doubling over there, but I just wanted to break that up a bit. I don't think I've got enough for another. And I think I can safely say what I've got left, I will chuck away. <laughs> okay. And that won't be too thick, so it's on a book page. Okay, these are the other things that we've done with all the bits. Okay, so that one's done. I don't need to sand that, it's quite smooth. That was the envelope um, and all I done there was lined, put a bit of lining paper there. Now I'm not sure what I was going to do with this. I, I was looking at it thinking, oh yeah, I'll cover that. And if I place that in, that's all going to be lost. So what I'm going to do there is put more gesso over and then do some lined paper because that is going to be the back. And I've turned that into the front and I've just lined that with a bit of the backing paper. All right, so I've got stitch round and everything. This one I just lined, so I cut it down a bit because it was a bit too wide for the journal. So which then left it nice and open so I could line that there. All right. So and then that's another envelope. 
yeah so i'm going to stitch around this one i think because i can because it's open and um, i might cut off this flap yeah i'm not oh no because we've got a pocket in there yeah i might leave it as a floating one yeah so i usually cut them off and have them in the pocket and actually glue them in but i think i'm going to do that as a floating pocket today because of right okay what should we do first actually i'm gonna do i won't do that one on camera because you've seen me do loads similar to that um oh yeah i'm gonna just sew this and then we can while that's drying we can i'll do up that and what i'll do just sew that i'll go and stitch around that so that's done just in case i go and you know um what do you call it forget to do it because i will I'm so forgetful lately. It's terrible. Right. I shall just bring it that on. I think I right, have I got any bits of paper around. Just in case I need it after. I've got some bits here with gesso on so just in case. Quite a lot of paint. Again, this is, you know, all this is, is the bits, isn't it? Okay. So I need to put too much up there. try and then i'll go and stitch around that and then i'll be back and we'll decorate it okay i stitched around it um i've already put those on because i showed it in another video how i done those recently so and then i covered it with a bit of that and then just sewed over it so it looks okay so that's that's all ready so i thought we'd just decorate i'm gonna I might stamp a little bit on here because i use the plain page so I'm going to use Vintage Photo, I think. And I've marked it a little tiny bit there. So it's great to use um, a stamp or something if that happens. I don't know what I've done. I have my finger in something, <laughs> as I do. So I shall stamp a little bit. Um, there, I think I'll use this one here, the one, Tim Holtz one. So I'll just show you how I get rid of that. Right, okay. I got me little, oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to put that on there. So I'm going to have to wait for that to dry. I, so I should clean my finger, really. Oh. Right, let's open that up. Give that a blast. I shall cover that. Mix it. Make sure that's there. Do that quickly. I've got my little bits. I'm not going to completely do it. That will be fine. Just in case. <laughs> Melt the plastic. 
Yes, done it a few times. <laughs> I've actually done it and then put a false one in. You know, I'm saying. There's ways around it. Right. Probably quit when you do this to get them underneath, but then I don't really glue the edges down. I want that under there. Or should I put it right over? Oh no, I need that under there. Need to wash my hands. Okay, and some little rosebuds on that one, I think. Oh, I've got um to go at the top there and then I thought I would introduce a little pink that way. I think this one's Tim Holtz I think. sure i know it looks okay i was wondering if i got a little bit of flying today and <laughs> i'm into butterflies at the moment i just love the shape of butterflies oh, i wonder a little blue one i might see if i got a little blue one that one goes because that matches perfectly or should we have a see what it's like with a pop of color if i've got a little blue one or not here i have got smaller ones of course i have but this is the new that's a bit too purple i've got that one but it's too big that one so far yeah I think I've cut the blue ones out. Oh, let's, I must take that one out. That one, that's the one that comes with the kit, but my machine cut it out a bit funny. That one looks nice too. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use that one. That's perfect. So it's got the blue from there and it's got the pink tone from there. Right, and then we'll make something for inside later on. That's that one there. Okay, and the next one is somewhere. <laughs> I might put it away. I don't know. <laughs> but I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> um, right, so that's all nice and dry. So all I thought I'd do is going to make that into like um, a journaling spot really. But I wanted to show a little bit that was get what was going on I'll do it that way. Um, in the background as well. Yeah. And then I'm going to over stamp a little bit.
needed something else. I'm not sure why at the time, but I've gone with that. So let's do that as well. And the front. Okay, I'm going to ink up around mine first. And I'm going to use Vintage Photo. I'm trying to be careful so I don't, because I don't want to get it this um, all over the place. I'm trying to keep this light. <laughs> Okay, I think that's uh, all right. All right, let's do our bits now. Um, I'm a bit of. And these look lovely if they're embossed as well, you know, here embossed. But you don't need to do that. Okay, keep that nice and simple and then I just saw at the top here I'm gonna have one of the small ones of those um, a little bit of this stuff maybe yeah and a butterfly and that's it I'm just going to move that over a little bit and see more of it move that sort of down a bit some of those. well someone did ask what these were called and gosh I know them as what gem stickers something like that I, I really don't know I've, I don't think I've ever looked it up I suppose because I've it was just everywhere years ago and I bought loads of them and um, the, I go to the range and I just pick them up I don't actually sort of actually recall what they're called <laughs> gem stickers is what I would say they were called I don't know I haven't got any of the packaging I tend to cut them up yeah, yeah I cut them up so that I because they did come on big sheets so I've got some nice blue ones there, look. That would, get, that would go nice, but we'll not do that for a minute. <laughs> Stay away from blue, Andrea. <laughs> Once I start using blue, it, it's like pink. If I start using pink, it overpowers everything. And then if I start using blue, that will overpower everything. But me and blue, I love blue. It's my favourite colour. But it was like, if I look through my art journal, everything's got blue. Everything was blue. So I have to try and stay away from it because that's all I'd use if I had my way. <laughs> okay, and then you just do a little journaling card or something later on to go in there. So that is that one. So we need to get on with the journal now. Sorry, nearly forgot. That was the other one I done 
but we cut well, this was all the same wasn't it this bit part i can't remember now i've done so many things i can't remember but i think that was all that like where i left out leftover scraps wasn't it and i've done that one as well so that was those three things and then we had these as well okay from the tissues or paper kitchen papers that mop up cloths and they've worked as well um it's a tad bright on this yellow well i would i'm gonna tone down a little bit okay i've got to make sure i haven't got too much vintage photo on here so i'll just sort of rub it off and i will tone down this a little bit okay it's sort of, um, when I photographed them, it looked really yellow, but it's not that yellow in real life. <laughs> it's, uh, it's okay, if you know what I mean. But I thought, oh, it's really bright. That's because I've got light on, I think, and I photograph. So. so I'll just put a bit of that over it, just to... Um, this one's okay, actually. That's all right. Yep. Yeah. Yep, no, I'm leaving that. That's fine now. Okay. So that's what we've done in that video. Gosh, that's quite a bit. <laughs> might be two videos, actually, when you come to it. Might be part one, part two. See how we go on. Okay. Um, well, thank you very much for watching then, and I'll speak to you all soon.